What's up, YouTube? Just before we get to the battles, I just want to introduce Elgato's Stream Deck because I've been using this for quite a while now and it's super, super handy on my streams and outside of my streams too. Basically what it is, it's a big old hub and macro board for all your needs right now. I use this, as I said, for streaming a lot. So you can assign buttons for certain functions. So you can have a cool little background on there. You can assign different buttons for streaming or just any sort of macro you can think of, right? So say, for example, I wanted to boot up the software right here. I've linked my OBS, which is my streaming software. So I can press that OBS button and then the program will pop up. Now, I've also got functionality to start and stop the stream at will. I've got a mute mic function. I can tweet out a tweet just by a press of a button and I can do a whole bunch of other stuff like uh, be right back stream Screens, you know, stream in, stream start, on and off for my Elgato lighting here in my room so I can turn it on and off, control the brightness, a whole bunch of really, really cool stuff like that too. Now, I've also got uh, a couple of other things. We've got a screenshot functionality, counters, backgrounds, so many cool options that you can use whether you're streaming or you're just using it for a hub of big old macros on your PC or laptop at home. I found this very, very handy opening multiple windows at once and doing certain functionalities that sped up the process of work and just made life really, really easy. So if this does interest you, you can check it out. The link is in the description of the video there. I'll also pin it in the comment section of the video too. All right, people, let's get into the Pokemon battles. What's up, it's you? For today's video, we don't have a team team. We don't even have a Pokemon sweep. However, we do have a new hacker exposed. And I can tell you what, people, this one has come back with a vengeance. Now, imagine if you could use Dynamax more than once in a Pokemon battle or have more than one Dynamax Pokemon. That would be crazy overpowered, right? In Generation 8, you could have the new Dynamax mechanic. And what it did, right, is it actually gave you a massive buff in health and it allowed you to be Dynamax for three turns, allowing you to use max moves, some really powerful moves like max knuckle boosting your attack, max airstream boosting your speed, and max ooze boosting your special attack. So giving you a ginormous advantage, pardon the pun. Now, I haven't seen anything game-breaking as multiple Dynamax since Generation 6 when I come across someone using 7 Mega Pokemon and actually Mega Evolving one of their Mega Pokemon. Then in Generation 7, I came across someone using 12 Z moves, right? And that was crazy, but ever since then, there really hasn't been any other real game-breaking hacks in the game. Usually, it's just been people using shiny lock Pokemon online. So, this one was pretty crazy and I really hope you enjoyed this battle. Now, this battle was done live on my Twitch here, people. So what I was doing, right, is I was streaming and taking random battles online, as you can see. So I went onto the Ycom and I started searching online for a single battle. I was testing out some of my team teams here against some of my viewers and stuff like that. I did some battles against the chat. Then I was like, let's do some battles against some random people and let's see what we get right. So we found a trainer there online and we find a trainer called A. So I was like, okay, this is going to be an interesting battle amazing name. I've seen a couple of people just have random letters as a name. Like, there's been some crazy ones out there if you've been to some of my streams, right? So, what I did, right, is I just picked the rules as normal rules. That's a normal single rule. So, it puts the Pokemon set at level 50 and it's a single battle. And that was pretty much it. We went into the battle there. I did, obviously, take out the team preview right there because I don't want to spoil anything because it was pretty funny. Okay, let's get this battle started. I was actually using just a random theme team, right, as well. Let's see if you can guess it as well. So the first Pokemon they sent out there was a Ponytail right called Easy. So like, okay, this is interesting. They're using a Ponytail right. Now, I was starting off with a Wishy Washy here. Now, this Wishy Washy was actually quite a decent set. And it was a schooling Wishy Washy, as they all are. And it's going to be a physical set with Choice Band right. I ran this one as Max Health and Max Attack with Adam and Nature. Now, the moves I was running on this were Flip Turn, U-Turn, Got to get those turns, baby. And we got Earthquake and we got Iron Tail at the same time. I thought I might be able to Dynamax later on to make it really tanky. Then the Ponytail pops a Horn Drill and thank goodness it misses right. So going for that U-turn there and I'm going to take Easy out very easily if you know what I'm saying there. So Ponytail's going to faint. So it's like, okay. Wishy Washy is going to come back to me. And now, right, I can choose what Pokemon to swap in. Now, Ponyta in the team preview was the least Pokemon I was worried about, right? There were some other interesting Pokemon on the team. I was like, man, I don't know how I'm going to beat that, right? So now we're going to go into Throw, another really awesome Pokemon there. And we're running a gut set on this one, right? So this Throw is a Max Health, 
Max Attack, Adam and Nature with the Guts ability holding the Flame Orb, right? So this thing hits very, very hard and it's got a lot of bulk there. And then comes out the shiny locked Victini called Legit Mons. Dot AU. And I was like, oh, here we go. Anyway, so I have done a video on Shiny Victini as well. I'm sure. Have you seen a Shiny Victini online? I have before. And I will stress this Pokemon is Shiny Lock. There's no events with Shiny Victini. So we got Protect, Facade, Storm Throw, and Payback, right? Storm Throw was 100% crit, and Payback was just there to sort of like hit Ghost type, right? So I went for Protect because sometimes you need to use protection in life. And we got V Create here. It's like, oh man, V Create. That's going to hit very, very hard there. Throw's very, very thick though. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I use. Usually nickname my uh, my throw Ernie from like Sesame Street. If you remember Sesame Street, you know. I was thinking about swapping into Stone Gen. I was like, nah, I'm pretty sure I can just live this one and, you know, hit the Victini with the payback and hopefully take it out, right? So here comes the V Create here from the Victini. That move does look really, really cool too. And Throw actually takes it like a champ on 47 health, which is absolutely amazing. Now, Victini is going to have a lot of drops there from using uh, V Create. And now payback is going to come into play and Victini is going to get dropped like a stone. So we're off to a very, very good start at the moment. Sitting that Ponytar down and sitting that Victini down, right? Now, Throw isn't what you call the fastest Pokemon in the world. I mean, it's, it's not Sonic the Hedgehog, right? So any Pokemon's going to be able to slide in there and easily take it out, right? So I was waiting for a while thinking, are we going to get like a DC here? Is the opponent going to send a Pokemon out? Are they going to time a stall? And then they sent my out and the Pokeball was in the air and it was already Dynamax. I was like, what is going on here? They didn't even Dynamax. It was just purely Dynamax already. I'm, I'm looking at that Majan. I'm thinking, what is going on right now? Now, if you do know something about the Majan, if you notice that it's got like a normal health bar. So it's like it's Dynamax, but it's... Like it's, it's big, you know what I'm saying? Like, big like something else. But the HP bar sort of looks like a normal Pokemon. So I was like, what is going on here? Like, how did they already have a Dynamax without, you know, doing the Dynamax animation or pressing the Dynamax button? You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, I was sort of just flabbergasted. I was thinking, okay, well, I can use Storm Throw here. That's really my only play against this thing. Now, in Dynamax, it used Shift Gear. <laughs> Look at the animation. You couldn't even see it. So this thing can use normal moves in Dynamax as well. So it's not forced into using, uh, you know, Dynamax moves. It can use stuff like Shift Gear. I'm like, this is absolutely broken. So Throw is going to be there on 19 up. I'm absolutely going to get destroyed by this thing. So Storm Throw did a good amount of damage there. I was laughing at like this so much that I accidentally misclicked my move. I was like, it doesn't matter anyway. You know, it's going to be able to take me out. Maybe I can... I don't know. I don't know. Is this going to last very long? Like, is Dynamax going to last forever? Then it used Tackle. And Tackle is actually an illegal move on Majana, which is really, really interesting, right? That um, it can actually even use an illegal move on. Like, if you search Majana, it cannot learn Tackle. Trust me, I know. However... There was one little instance about Majana having tackle that there's a possibility that it could have. And I'm going to explain that after this video. So make sure you tune in the whole way. It's really going to be interesting there. So Majana's got a uh, rest and sleep talk. It used rest in Dynamax and ate a chest to So it closed its robotic eyes and opened it right. So at this point, I, I, I didn't really know what to do. I was just completely like... This thing is going to destroy me. I just picked any move. So, Fro's going to go down. I just sort of had to throw it away. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to get a Soul Heart there. It doesn't have any special attacking moves. It's obviously got physical moves, right? Hopefully, right? Now, the other Pokemon I've got is Wishy Washy. I've got Rotom. I've got Stone Journey, Stunfist, and Maractus, right? This is an upcoming theme team, too. So, I thought, let's go into Rotom here. I can probably, uh, I, I might be able to Dynamax here, but I think if it's got a Steel type move, I'm gonna get destroyed. So I've got Blizzard, Rising Voltage, something else is rising. I've got Hyper Voice, and I've got Nasty Plot, right? This is a Throat Spray special attacking set, and it's absolute fire. Then it uses Rollout! The animation was in the clouds! You couldn't even see, like, you couldn't even see the animation. Like, it, like, disappeared behind the arena. I don't even know what's going on right now. So it's got Shift Gear up, right? Plus one in attack. It's using Rollout. Now, Rollout, as you know, gets exponentially more powerful. So I'm like, man, 
I'm gonna get I'm gonna get swept by a rollout tackle make Jana only on Pim Knight's channel right. So here comes the uh, the second rollout here. I gotta shut this down, baby. So the second rollout hits me really, really hard. The next one is easily gonna take me out. I went for the rising voltage there. It wasn't enough to take it out. However, I do have one other Pokemon I could swap in after this. I may actually have to Dynamax here just to counter the uh, the, the Dynamax Majana, right? So here comes another rollout here. This is the third one, and Rotom Fridge is going to go down there. But don't worry, people. I'm going to get another drink out the fridge later on. Trust me. I needed a cold one after this. So it's going to get another Soul Heart here. I wasn't worried, right, because it was a physical set. Oh, now it sort of became clear to me. Like, it was starting to come clear to me that this person was definitely a troll, right? They were a thousand percent a troll. Now, I've got Wishy Washy, I've got Stone Gen, I've got Stunfist and Marax. I'm thinking, wow, like, I think I may have to uh, Dynamax um, Stone Gen, right? Like, Stone Gen is an absolute unit. Now, this is in defense, right? So, this is a max speed, uh, max um, attack Pokemon, right? And we've got uh, Choice Scarf in this, but I had to Dynamax here, and I had to go for a Heat Crash, right? Because that was super effective. Now, Stone Journey is my second favorite generation Pokemon, right? Slow, like, Cramorant just beats it for me. Like, they're my two favorite generation of Pokemon. So we got Stone Journey on the field. I was very confident that I could easily live a rollout here, right? You know, this thing is an absolute unit, and it's got, like, a big buff on the Dynamax. Too. So first before first, I went for the Max Guard. I wanted to shut that down. Then my controller started running out of battery. I'm like, oh, no. I I'm going I'm to DC from my controller. So I had to quickly, like, um, get there, grab my controller, find a PowerPoint, stick it in the hole, and charge it, right? Like, sometimes you got to do that, you know what I'm saying? So I had this Max Flare, Max Rockfall, and Max Knuckle, right? Now, I've got Max Flare. will easily take it out, right? I've got that one in the bag, right? Now, I've also got Max Knuckle too, but I was like, you know what? I just want to take this thing out because it is a giant threat. So here comes a tackle for a major. <laughs> it did nothing. What does it have tackle for? So they're obviously just showing off that they could use moves that were, you know, obviously illegal on a Pokemon. You, you search it up. You can't use tackle. But I want to say something. At the end of this video, we're going to dive into a special research why the Majana might be able to use tackle. It's going to be super interesting. Anyway, so Majana's going to faint and goes into its little Pokeball. But people. Is that the end of Dynamax? Or do we have more to come? Hmm. Now, I was waiting here. I was thinking maybe they're a little bit salty after that. And then we got Event 69 coming out, with, which is a Marshadow. So, obviously, I'm going to say it right now. Obviously, it's becoming increasingly more apparent that this person knows that, obviously, I'm streaming. They're watching the stream. And they're really, really trying to troll me. Because, obviously, I say 69 is a joke all the time, right? So here comes a close combat there from the Mars Shadow, and I took it like a beast, right? Stone Journey is an absolute unit, right? Weakness policy, it wasn't Choice Scarf, my bad, is going to activate here. Um, and I was like, okay, I, I've definitely got this. I think I've got this game right now. Firing some fire out of my PP there. Sometimes you got to do that. And it had a Focus Ash. It lived on one health. The merch is available, right? So uh, uh, Machado, not the uh, Majana, has got the uh, Focus Ash, right? So I'm out of my Dynamax now. This thing can easily take me out here because I don't have as much bulk as I did last time right now I don't have a rock polish up um, I've got like stone edge body press none of these moves are gonna be very accurate or body press ain't gonna attack it at all right so here comes the uh, close combat and stone journey is gonna go down nothing I could have done there Marsha has got very very good speed and very very good attack there but it only has one health back so there is a chance I could still take out so bye bye stone journey now I've got my stun fist left and I've got my wishy-washy and I've got Maractus. So, unfortunately, on my Maractus, I didn't have Spiky Shield. I would have loved it if I did, but I've got, like, this meme bulky set, like, stalling set. So, I was like, okay, Wishy Rushy is really, really thick. I'm going to go for a Disrespect Flip turn. I'm going to flip them up, and then I'm going to swap in another Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? I like how Wishy Washy's animation, the schooling animation, looks so, so cool. This is one of my uh, favorite Generation 7 uh, Pokemon, too. So we've got an event 69 on one health, and we still got two more Pokemon remaining. So who knows what's going to happen now, right? So we got the close combat from the Marshall again. Wishy Washy be kind of thick and taking that very, very well there. So at this stage, Marshall has got like. Uh, negative three in defense, and we're going to go for that flip turn there, and Marshadow is going to go down. So, so far, we've seen a Majana that was already Dynamax, didn't even need the Dynamax button, and we've seen, mo like, multiple mythical shiny lock Pokemon. So, I'm thinking, okay, we got Stunfisk here. I've got my Assault Vest Stunfisk. It's good to rock and roll. 
let's see how this one is going to go, right? Now, this is a really, really troll stun fist set, too. I really like stun fist, so I have to say, like, this is sort of a combination of some of my favorite Pokemon, but that's not the theme, though. Okay, next Pokemon is Salt Knight.au. Clearly, this was directed right at me because you know how I was always roast those .com websites. This is definitely a roast directly, uh, you know, thrown at me. So I've got Discharge <laughs> Stunge Bomb, Fissure and Stopping Chapter, and Max Attack and Max Special Attack. I've got the item as a Salt Vest there. So what I want to do, right, is I want to go for a Fissure. Now, Fissure lands great, but if it misses, I can go for a double base power Stomping Tantrum. It gets a double base power if you do miss, right? So it's a really, really cool move stopping tantrum. So here comes the steam eruption from the um, volcano in the sun there. I've got the assault vest. I take that like an absolute unit. So go for Fisher there. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the Fisher on Salt Knight. It would have been absolute gold. And now the sun is going to fade away. So I'm thinking right here, wow, I don't know if I can live a steam eruption. It's going to be super, super nasty and super, super close if I do live, right? So here comes the uh, steam eruption there uh, from the volcano, and I lived on two health there. And unfortunately, I got burned on two health. This was absolutely bad for me, right? Because that stopping tantrum, everything went right there, but I was burned. I'd say I would have nearly have taken the volcano out in one shot there if I didn't get burned. Now, unfortunately, I thought, like, for, for a second, I was like, well, Volcanion's got weakness policy, but it had leftovers instead. So, uh, Stunfist is going to go down. So, I've only got one more Pokemon left here, apart from my Wishy Washy. Can Wishy Washy leave the Volcano, or are we going to need to go into Maractus, right? I'm thinking maybe we'll go into Wishy Washy. I've got Earthquake on this set. I could go for the Choice Band and Earthquake, right? I've still got the bulk of all the fishies as well, right? So, we're going to go back into our schooling form there. We've got to school them, people, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I could go for another Earthquake here, right? Now, does this have any other moves to hit me outside of a, a you know, Water-type move and a Fire-type move? Or do they want to swap into an Earthquake, right? Because I know what their last Pokemon is, and it is not going to like swapping into that. So, it's going to go for Endurance Head. So, it's got Endure. And it's got Steam Eruptions. It's like, okay, all right. So here comes the Earthquake. Obviously, they're not going to go down to the uh, Earthquake there because Endure is going to save. And that would have worked nicely with like a uh, like a Weakness Posse or like a Pinch Berry, right? So Salt Knight dot A. Actually, well, I just noticed something. That's like a weird sort of text. I think, right, that that text right there was, it was either traditional Chinese, Chinese or Korean. I'm not really sure um, on the text that was used in that name, but it was crazy anyway. So getting hit by a fire blast there, clearly they didn't have any other coverage moves to use against Wishy Washy. And I'm going to go for the Earthquake here and take out the Shiny Volcano. Once again, is Shiny Lock as well. Okay, people, we are down to the last Pokemon, and you're probably wondering, right, well, we've seen a Pokemon with Dynamax, but it hasn't. That's one Dynamax Pokemon. What's going to happen? So, my, unfortunately for me, right, I'm back in the schooling form here. So, once you hit a lower amount of health with Wishy Washy, um, you know, you can't use it. And then comes out another Majana called Pipnite.au. Clearly, this is a thousand percent troll roast towards me after, you know, obviously continually roasting all the dot com websites in my videos. So, that's two Dynamax Pokemon right now. So I've got Earthquake here, I've got Choice Ban. Um, I know that it's not going to do too much, like will I even outspeed it? And then it pops out a Zap Cannon, it opens its arm and fires Zap Cannon out and lands it. I was like, man, I hope this doesn't have like no guard hacked on or something like that. So down goes Wishy Washy and then Majana is going to get a Soul Heart here. I was like, oh no. All I've got left here is Maractus and things are looking very, very grim, right? This is like a... um. A heavily walled set, right? I can get the leech seed up, but that's going to be about it, right? I've got max health and max special pets. Ingrain, cotton guard, and you know, that's it. I've got leftovers, ingrain, and leech seed all giving me health back. So that was the strategy. Then I can fire off the Gig uh, Giga Drain, right? And then the Dynamax Pokemon. It Dynamaxes. That was three Dynamax Pokemon in a Pokemon. How's it even work? So the Magana somehow went back in the ball, and then it got thrown out once again. So that was three there in one battle. That is crazy. How does this get online? Seriously. Like, all memes and jokes were like, like, how does this get online? This should not go online. This is absolute bull. So here goes the Max Star Ball there, and Maractus gets absolutely dominated. I tried very hard there, people, but man, Majana, like, triple Dynamax, like, come on. Like, I tried my very best there. I was very, very close to getting the dub there. Unfortunately, Maractus was not going to uh, be able to beat a Majana there. If I had the type advantage or maybe a speed advantage, I could have possibly won the battle. 
And uh, yes, whoever you are, a eh, mate, like your 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 ass is gonna get banned. Like that's that's real talk. Like if you get if you see anything like that or like try anything like this online, you are go, you're, you're a thousand percent gonna get banned. Don't don't do it. All right, so that was pretty much the end of the battle. However, right, I'm just going to cancel the battle here, but we want to do a little discussion, right, about that mage hunter. Remember how it used tackle in the battle, and I said that, you know, it can't learn tackle? Essentially, it can't learn tackle, but there was a period of time, right, where it could have the move tackle. And I want to explain this one real quick, because you might be interested in this too. And I thought this would be like a really cool little test we could actually do. So let's get onto that test right now. Now, Majana Pokeball was given out to people for completing the National Dex, right? When you first could get this right, you had to shift your whole Pokedex into the boxes in one session. Otherwise, you wouldn't get it, right? Now, obviously, this has changed since then, but that's how it was at the start initially. Now, this is where the original Majana with Tackle comes into play, and this is where this theory comes into play here, right? I believe that when this gift was given out at the start, it wasn't quite ready because it actually got released initially by accident, and it was a level 10 Majana that had 15 ribbons and new Growl and Tackle, right? Which was kind of interesting. Obviously, the rollout for this one stopped. However, if it was still in your, you know, mystery gift box, you could still actually claim it, right? That was really, really interesting. Now, there was also some reports that uh, it could come out as a Pokeball one at level 10 as well, with the same moves, just in the different form. So, basically, it was a complete mess up, right? However, I was really curious whether this Pokemon would still go online. So I was fortunate enough to actually come across someone who wanted to have a test with me and see if we could get this Pokemon to work online. And let's see what those test results yielded. All right, people, it's time to see whether Majana will work online with knowing the moves, tackle and growl. So I connected to the internet here. I searched why can't, I'm just gonna run through this slowly. I don't wanna cut any parts here. I'm just to show you, you know, that it actually is going to go online or not online. So I matched up with someone called Awesome Man. Hello, Awesome Man, if you ever uh, see this video there. Now I want to select a battle of no restrictions, right? So you can see that it was indeed the uh, level uh, 10 Majana with all the ribbons and all the tackle and the growls, right? Well, growl obviously was on the move I already had already. We're looking at uh, tackle. So we got a no restriction battle. They picked us like, okay, that's great. Uh, what I did right is I just put it into my party here on my like lizard team. Little spoiler there for you people. And I wanted to see if it worked. And it actually let me pick the teams. I was like, what? Now I did have this Pokemon trade to me and the trade did go through online. That sort of told me that it would work online in the battle. And here we go, like you can use it online. So they've just got a stack sweaty team here. Um, I'm just gonna slate my Majana because I just want to show you that it is the one with Tackle and Growl, right? This is really, really interesting. I've got a couple of theories as to why they still would allow this online too, apart from some of the obvious ones, which we'll say in a second. So here we go. I just picked one Pokemon, and of course, Awesome Man picked all six of his team, knowing that I only had a level 10 Pokemon. Come on. And to top things off, right, Awesome Man actually had a, a very interesting team right here, right? He started off with another hack Pokemon here. So these Pokemon are everywhere, right? So it's funny. They can they can get rid of a, 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 some of the dot-com Pokemon, but they can't get rid of a Pokemon with a, a move that it shouldn't know. So here we go. Here's the Majana. Oh, first, I'm going to get intimidated by the scum. I'm not intimidated at all. Here we go, people. Here's the Majana with the moves, tackle and growl. Or just with tackle, right? So there you go. Tackle. Majana currently works online at the moment. I mean, it was, essentially, it was a Pokemon that was given out by them. It's not a hack Pokemon. It was a Pokemon they got given out, but they stopped giving it out, right? Because they realized it was a mistake. It was very, very similar. I'm not sure if you can remember what you know about on Pokemon Home, the Alola forms, uh, when you transfer them on the home, um, they had moves that they weren't really allowed to know. And then that got patched out of the game. But this actually has not been patched yet, which is interesting. I feel like, I feel like they just don't care that Tackle is on Majana. Like, no one is going to use it except for probably someone like me. But 
There we go, people. Maybe we can come across with a, a tackle strategy in the future. Level 10, Majana. I don't know, but uh, this meme is allowed to go online, people. As you've seen, I just tried it online there. I do want to give a couple quick shout-outs to Slayer. Thank you for helping out some of the research and my other buddy for the trade as well. And that's pretty much it. That's going to wrap up today's Hacker Exposed. Entertaining battle. Some very interesting research at the end there with the uh, tackle Majana. I wasn't able to get my, uh, obviously, get my hands on a Pokeball one, but I say it probably would have been the same like um and all the hacker obviously did was was you know level up the majana and you know change it to a shiny form so i'd say that's how he got through there anyway people thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button i really appreciate that it always helps and i'll catch you for another video maybe tomorrow all right people peace out <laughs>